few brief comments and be happy to take questions that you may have. Next week, the General Assembly will return to the Capitol for its annual veto session. While there will be a number of issues for legislators to consider, there is one issue that I want to talk about today, and that's fiscal discipline. State government must live within its means. Missouri taxpayers deserve it, and the Missouri Constitution requires it. Writing checks we can't cash and attempting to live beyond our means does not reflect our values or the fiscal realities that we face. Authorizing new government spending and creating new government programs, while at the same time enacting a wide array of special interest tax breaks that reduce available resources, is not fiscally responsible. That's why it is troubling as some members of the legislature are considering voting next week in favor of bigger government and against balanced budgets by overriding my line on vetoes of approximately $144 million in spending that we simply cannot afford. Ask any Missouri families they sit around the table each month, setting priorities and making difficult choices about what they can afford and what they might have to wait for. If the income is not there, can't buy that new car or go on that vacation. Next week, every member of the General Assembly should think about those reserve families trying to balance their budgets before they vote to increase government spending beyond what we can afford. After all, this is Missouri. Unlike in Washington, D.C. or other states where they just rack up debt and credit cards, we balance budgets here in Missouri. And since there's only so much revenue coming in, balancing budgets requires setting priorities and making tough choices. That's why. When a General Assembly passes a budget that grows government spending without the revenue to support it, it's a governor's responsibility to stop it. Over the past several years, keeping a lid on out-of-control government spending has been vital to protecting our perfect AAA credit rating and keeping our economy moving forward. And controlling government spending through line-item details and restrictions was especially important this year when the General Assembly sent me a budget that was nearly $800 million on balance with more than 100 spending programs above my recommendation and 30 brand new programs. Some of the additional spending items are earmarks and pet projects for specific organizations and interests. Others are worthwhile initiatives that should be part of the discussion if resources were available. But the one thing all these items have in common is that we don't have the money to afford them. That's why after coming through the budget line by line, I use my authority to put the budget back in balance and keep the state on a fiscally sustainable path. These actions include line item details when it came to new programs and spending that would permanently grow the size of government at a time when that is simply not the responsible course. Overriding these details would put Missouri on a permanent path of living beyond their means, and that is simply wrong. Once again, it's no different from what families have to do each month when they look at how much income they have coming in, what bills they need to pay, and what they might be able to afford with anything that is left. And sure, it's easy to take your friends on a shopping spree if you have no intention of paying a credit card bill, but it's not the right thing to do. Sometimes you just have to say no. Next week, the choice states and members of the General Assembly is a simple one. They can vote for fiscal discipline and for balanced budgets and sustain my line on vetoes, or they can vote to spend money we don't have and grow the size of government by overriding those line on vetoes. I encourage members of the General Assembly, when they return to the Capitol next week, to put themselves in the shoes of Missouri families who have to set priorities, make tough choices, and sometimes just say no. For them, let's work together to keep our state on strong fiscal footing. Thank you, and we look down to the left.